I owe CJ Beathard an apology. I've ridiculed this man so much in the last few years. He was one in nine coming into this game, maybe one in 10. He'd only beaten Eli Manning his career. He'd lost some amazing games. I mean, he lost to Arizona when their qu- quarterback was Josh Rosen. And I really blamed him a lot when in retrospect, I think I could have given him a lot of the excuses that Nick Mullins got that I gave him, Nick Mullins this year. CJ lost some games where he dropped back 50 times. That's not his fault. That's Kyle's fault. Um, so CJ, I'm, I'm sorry. I've worked so hard to defend Nick Mullins. Now I, you come in and judging you on the same rubric I've been judging Nick Mullins, you were just fantastic today. You were poised. You were smart. You were conservative uh, in, in a good way. You protected the ball. You threw no picks. The one fumble wasn't really your fault. Um, I'm really, there was a bad moment at the end of the first half, but Nick would have struggled in that, in that uh, scenario. Jimmy Garoppolo would have struggled in that scenario. That was a Kyle issue. We're going to get to that little two minute drill and with 30 seconds left. I don't blame you for that. That was you being put in a rough spot. The rest of the game, you were put in good spots. Thanks to your running back, your defense and your head coach. So thank them, but also you get credit. You uh, are the Niners' most athletic quarterback. You do a good job rolling out. The first zone read run you had was terrific. The second one was kind of funny, but, you know, that's okay. Um, But, no, it was your first start in more than two years. The expectations were real low. Uh, You could have just been awful. The Niners should have lost this game. You found a way to win a game through three touchdown passes. Um, I apologize. I I ridiculed you too much. Now, you're going to be an an unrestricted free agent at the end of this year. Should the Niners re-sign you? I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. No. No. The Niners need a new starting quarterback and a new backup quarterback. Period. Uh, CJ, good for you. I hope another team signs you but it shouldn't be the Niners. Uh, let's be real. The starting quarterback should be a first-round pick, and the backup should be an, another guy, maybe a mid-round pick, maybe uh, someone they sign, um, someone better than CJ. I'm glad that he played well today. I, I, I salute. Good job. He did his job. He managed the game. He handed off. He made 13 throws. He threw three touchdown passes, threw for a little less than 200 yards. Great. Good, good going. Best performance of your career. Uh, and maybe you'll do better next week, but I would say, no, don't resign CJ. Is that, is that mean? No. Kyle Shanahan released his secret weapon. He's been hiding CJ Beathard for two years and joined the playbook. It was brain. Nick was just a fluke. No guys, guys, Kyle told you that Nick, Be- that Nick Mullins is a better quarterback than CJ Beathard. I happen to agree with Kyle Shanahan. I agree with, I disagree with some of Kyle Shanahan's personnel decisions, some of his, uh, game management decisions, but on that one, he's right. But the difference today was how how well Shanahan called the game. Props to C.J. Beathard for doing his job, but Shanahan made his job manageable, which is what Shanahan is supposed to be able to do. So all you guys saying no is that Nick is still better than C.J. Hey, well, you know what? In this case, you guys are disagreeing with me and your head coach, who is also your favorite coach of all time. So that's fine. If you disagree with that, send a letter to Kyle. Take it up with him because I'm on his side on this one.